Hi, I'm Roberto Martinez and you're watching Toffee TV. Welcome to Toffee TV, this is the preview for Everton vs Swansea. This Sunday, it's a must win, as they all are now. They all are a must wins as we strive for top half of the Premier League. Come on! Um, not even on page one of two on Teletext. Oh, no, no, we, and we've been there for weeks. But this is this is a really good chance because you know Swansea are crap. Let's be honest. They're struggling at the wrong bottom. Well, round the bottom. They're not. They're not up to much. They're just, they're just a point of the sixty-year-old coach to go with their other over sixty-year-old coach. Hey, the cat. No, I'm not. I'm not criticising, but I'm just saying. You know, it seems an odd step for a manager. Who's Managed in Italy for like 35 years, been at about 20 clubs in 25 years. Seems an odd move, that to me. Very un Swansea, and um, got to win. Simple What's, as that. We haven't have definitely got to win again. Just on Swansea, it is a weird one because Hugh Jenkins has always had that, that pat since mm. Martinez. They've always kind of known what the next step's going to be, haven't they? And <coughs> Martinez to Rodgers and, you know, moving on again, wasn't it? To Lyles up and then to Gary Monk, and then this one. Alan Curtis has done a decent job, steady the ship a little bit for them, but still. I, do, I wouldn't have got rid of Monk. Not getting. Well, it was you don't you can't get rid of someone unless you've got someone lined up, and unless they they thought that I don't know maybe they thought Brendan Rodgers should go back, or they thought they were gonna get the kid that been dealing with Bielsa and someone yeah. else as well. Whether he thought that was gonna come off, maybe that will come off in the summer if they survive. Who knows? But as far as Everton are concerned, one win in nine. This represents. But at home, it represents our best chance of, of adding to that victory. Yeah. You know, we've won six games all season, which is outrageous. Um, but the last few games against these have ended in draws, and we've really got to, we've got to perform. Yeah, there's no, home. there's no, there's a uh, no way about it. No, no way around, around it. We've got to win this game. Doesn't matter how we win, does it? We just need to get over the line, get the three points. We haven't won it at home since in the league since Villa was it? November, end November, of November, long yeah. time ago. So yeah, you mentioned there six. Six league wins in the Premier League so far is just simply not good enough. And the one, the one positive I might say is, although it's not great that we haven't beat any top half teams when we've played like the bottom sides when they have come to Goodison Villa. Obviously, we mentioned Sunderland. We have wiped the floor with them in their matches, so hopefully, it'll be that type of performance again. We're on it from the off, and we do continue to keep that defensive shape that we've shown at times in games the last few weeks. Obviously, against Chelsea, we, we lost our focus a little bit, but. I feel like there has been a little bit of progress made since the Tottenham game later on and hopefully we can continue doing that in this one. Yeah, because I, I mentioned in the uh, the Chelsea video, the fixes now coming up aren't too bad. They, you know, we've got, got really good run of fixes now to the end of the season, really. OK, we've got a couple of tough ones, but really the games you should be looking at winning if you want to finish in those high places. It's as simple as that. And there are also games like, as a fan, you go, if we don't win them, There'll be few. It's as simple as that, isn't it? There will be We've few. Got the sixteen games left, and we need to win nine or ten of them. That's that's the fact, don't we? Fourteen, I'd say. Sixteen. Without putting any pressure on. <laughs> no, but I'm. I mean, if we were to win ten of the last sixteen, we've got to go on a run, run, haven't we? We've got to go, got to go on a run now. Simple as that. We've got to put back to back wins. We're six points, I think, we're away from fifth place. So. If you put, you've got to put three, I'm four a nine away from third bottom. So you've got to put three, four away uh, uh, wins together there yeah, to get us into that that position yeah. to be challenged. And we've been stuck on eleventh for like what three weeks now. It's momentum, isn't it? Mm. We, we spoke about it so many times since doing this show. It's about building momentum, and we've only had back to back wins once this season, and that was cup games. Cup games. Yeah. We actually haven't done it in the Premier League, which it's is since outrageous. Since April, isn't it? Since well, April, I think. Which is outrageous. Well, when we had to get on a win to get a run to get us out of the sticky situation we were in last year. Swansea will let you play football. It's the way they play. We like teams that do that. You know, mm -hmm. um, I quite like Swansea. They're a, you know they're a decent side to play the right way. They're a decent side, but Everton's attacking threat. You know we should be able to put these to bed. I don't know whether Oviedo is going to play, mm -hmm. but I think for me, <clears throat> I think I'd start John Stones at right back. I wouldn't see. I wouldn't start John Stones, and and oh, only because right. only because I'm thinking ahead. Who plays right back? Well, well, <laughs> you know I don't want to. I don't want to say you know. I'd I'd probably play Oviedo at right back, well, or he's going to be fit, or or somebody else, or somebody else. If someone if someone else, hit it. what? But the, the, <laughs> reason, <laughs> the reason I say that is is that we've got um, we've got 
three days between this game and arguably our biggest game for... So why is Stones getting a rest? Because Funes Mare didn't start against Chelsea and Jed Gelko doesn't need a rest. But Funes Mare's head injury was, was led to... Oh, he's got eight days. He's been fine. No, a little scratch. No one's saying that... For me, that, I think that's why he didn't start. I mm. think he wants to... Oviedo, he wants to give that wound a chance to heal. I think otherwise he'd start against Chelsea. I don't think it was a rest a, a decision. No, no, but that's I'd, what I'm saying. I'd mm. keep Stones' centre-half because... Do you play right back, Matt? It's a tough one. It is a tough one. But... Because LVA, LVA though, we, I, we're unsure yet, aren't we? Yeah, we are, but fit. I think getting... The, that, when we've looked best on the Martinez is when we've had Jagi Elk and Sturridge as a pair to bat together. And although Maurice come in and done well at times, I still think he is a little bit rash at times in game. He does leave his position, but... But getting those two back together, getting them familiarised with each other and making sure that they're a partnership again and doing it as soon as possible. Because like, like we've touched upon, you know, we need to start winning games now. We can't mm. we can't wait for I'm this. Only, I'm only questioning it because we don't know whether Aviedo's going to mm. be fit. Took a heavy bang on his mm. shin, so his record's not great. We don't know whether or not at this stage mm. there'll be someone else to play there. Why not? Coleman's out, so who would you play there if it's not Stone? Why not? Then? Someone like Matthew Pennington. Because he's not good enough. Move on, Matt. You're supposed to be a serious journalist. Do you know what? Uh, what, what, what have we seen to say he's not good enough? Yeah, I'm not saying that. I thought he looked I don't think he's good enough. I, well, I just think... I don't think you can make that... Personally, I couldn't make that call, but I just think that exposes a young lad, whereas I think John Stones, he's played there. Yeah. I'd, personally, he's better at centre-half, but I'm just talking about us keeping our defensive shape. I'd, rather, I'd feel happy with Maurice Jackson Stones rather than trying to be a young lad. Play it right back when you have yeah. in the first team not nearly done enough there. Yes, there might be a different option this week. Who knows? Yeah. But then again, even that's a big ask. Put someone in at the yeah. day. It's a game we've got to win. You know what I mean? It's yeah. a game we have to win, and I'd rather us. I'd rather us exercise course. And I'd love to think Everton could be four 0 up with twenty five minutes left, and then you can take John Stones off and say, right, yeah, yeah. sit there with some ice on and chill, and put whoever on it right back. Yeah. But I think you've got to manage definitely got to manage this game looking forward to the City game you know, because the, you know that is a big game we've got to make sure City seem to have taken t- they took out their frustrations out uh, of the weekend so um, against Palace so you've got to be thinking ahead to that game but there is room for manoeuvre but we, we need to win now no I know I know, I know. Um, if, we, if we didn't win here in this match, you'd be looking ahead. I know, I know, the Devils could be nervous looking ahead to that City game anyway. But if we say if they had a new manager bounce and they beat us in this game, and if you're looking at that City game, thinking it is literally all or nothing now. That match, you know, if, if we, you know, if we win here, we, you know, you said the six points Confident. off there. If you think we could, you know, we could maybe go in a run, could maybe go up. Mm. But if we don't get pick up points here, then we go to the cup. There's only one way you're looking then, and that's over your shoulder. I've, I've got to say, to me, this is more important. At this moment, this is more important to me than Man City. Man City's a semi final. These league, we haven't won in the league at home since November. That terrifies me in the middle of the Well, it's going to be yep. the third week in January. We've won six games. To me, this is much bigger because, like you just said, these beat us. Then they're a few points behind us. All of a sudden, you're looking going. But I think we, set, we are, I do think we've got a couple of options at the back. Because I, I don't think it's about individuals at the back. I think it's about the, sh- the shape. and how the think pl- Tim Howard should captain the side? No, I don't think Tim Howard should be uh, allowed in the stadium. Never mind captain the side. But don't, what are your options? Don't, don't, start, don't, don't, start, don't start me on that! <laughs> what, are you, what options are you talking about? Well, I, I just think that because we've got three centre-halves, yeah. we can we can leave one out. And, and I just think that I'd leave John Stones out. Say, all right, but that's what it's so Come back to your right-back position and say that we haven't got that option that you okay. alluded to. All right, to. so we haven't got... An obvious no, no, option. if we haven't got... Obviously, John Stones would have to start at right yeah. back mm. if there isn't an option. That yeah. That's obviously fundamental. Mm. But what I'm saying is if there, is, there, is, if there is an option, I would leave John Stones on the bench looking for... I think, again, it's about game management. It's about managing the two games and thinking you, you've got a game at home. And I know it's only three days, but what you're saying is let's be ultra prepared for both games and I think you can get away with Foons Murray and Jack Gelker in one game leave Stones out and I also think it wouldn't be a bad thing to just leave John Stones out I'm not saying he's playing poorly I just think that refocus can it's sometimes. It's sometimes yeah it can just be enough to just I you know I'm I'm cautious about that I think I'd, I'd take this as the game that we need to win so I'd have me, me full even if we had an option 
to play at right back, I think that option should be on the bench and brought on later mm. on. That's how I would kind of manage it. I'd like to think mm. this won't happen, but I'd like to think Everton mm. could move away from Swansea in that first hour, like we did with the likes of yeah. Villa and things like yeah. that, and then go, right, you're coming off now for the rest, come and sit down, and that's you done because we've managed this properly. I'd love to see if a different goalkeeper. I'd love to see a thing, but I think, me personally, how I'd like to have a goalie in. Uh, and then who, who, which one bad? well who I would have it would obviously, <laughs> would obviously be Tony Ibbett in goal yeah, yeah. Or, play yeah. right back hand you know I'd have Neville Schalke it's a Coney role play Coney <laughs> <Play> Co- <laughs> Co- <laughs> up front left midfield and in goal I'd have Coney in goal over the other fella but anyway I'd have, obviously won't talk about a keeper bring Rain so Rooney back Stone, and in goal Stones <laughs> then obviously Jagi Elka Mori yeah. Baines and then me midfield I'd have Delafeu this would be I'd, interesting I'd, you know, I'd have Delafeu Bezic Barkley Barry uh, Morales and Lukaku because I think we do them okay. damage yeah. going that way I think you're right I think how the game's panning out then we can make that change with Cleverly on the left the thing uh, the thing for me is is, think, is Coleman going to be fit for the semi-final? Is it hit and miss? No, he's not going to be fit. No, I don't but, think he's going to be fit. This, well, he mentioned this originally, but when Roberto Martinez mentions a comeback date, add another month on yeah. it. If, if Coleman's going to be fit for that game, but he won't make it the weekend, I'd like to see Stones and Jagiel because together, because they're the pair I'd like to see play centre-half against Man City with Coleman in the right-back position. But if yeah. he's not going to play there... Mm it could be a good chance to get Stones more experience at right back and then them two next to him so yeah. if, if Coleman's going to be fit for that match I'd keep them two together as a pair get that understanding back together but obviously if he's not what would you go for in, in midfield because that would be the interesting one I'd, I'd go to say what Baz said I think although I, I, Cleverly does do a good job on that left hand side and he does allow Baines to get forward we've seen signs against Chelsea of, of mm. a, a good partnership there developing between Morales and Baines and Although you might have concerns about the players not doing the work rate or not taking you know responsibility and losing the ball and stuff like that, there comes a, ch- a point where you've got to say to these players, you just got to go out and do it. You've, you've got to be responsible. You've got to put more of a shift in. You've got to be more take more care with the ball. Otherwise, you know that 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 from four you mentioned there that if that clicked together as a unit, that could potentially tear into any side. But I I, I know what you said. I, I know what you're going to say no, <laughs> about Adam. Cleverly in an orthodox midfield position, and I think in certain games he, he could be useful in, that, in that role. Wouldn't that left that wasn't that left hand side one of our better ones though when Pienaar's not been there, Morales and Baines? Wouldn't you say? So? I'd drastically played on the on the right though. I'd he's done yeah, a decent I, job I don't, up there I, don't, as well. I still don't think he can do it. I just think that no, no. But if you're Kevin Morales, we've yeah. said loads I'd of times he's got to take this chance. Yeah, I, mean, I think he trusts. Well, I play Kevin Morales. I play Kevin on, on the right. right. On the right, and cleverly. I'd leave Dele Feu. You've got, you've got. I'm thinking ahead to Wednesday. Yeah. Then well. what about what a, would you consider pulling Ross Barkley out of no, the team? No. I'm playing no. cleverly in that. No. No, because he. Do, no one can. I'm do, just asking you. No one can do what Ross Barkley does, and I'm. I hear these people. Apparently, someone rung in a national radio station and said we need to sell. He's no good. Sure. What are people on? Sure. That'll, be, that'll be it. Yeah, I think he's City the, fan wants to buy him. He's the player. I think if he came off the side, I think he's the player we'd miss the most. No, no I'm just there. asking yeah. if you were yeah. talking no, about no, reservation. I'd, I'd have cleverly on the left. I think it gives Ross a lot more freedom when he plays as well. He can play a little bit higher up. He can be a little bit more expansive. I'd have Morales on the right, thinking of Delafeu on Wednesday. And I'd, I'd go from that. You, we, we should be. I, happy. I won't be happy with that team. We I should be starting to move players around a little bit. I don't think he'll play Delafeu at Man City. I don't because I don't think I think that Man City game we're two one up. The first, I think it's he's had out ball. The though. first fifty minutes though in that game yeah. was vital, mm-hmm. and I think, I think he may plump for Lennon just to be conservative for that Cleverly. first fifty, yeah. and then Delafeu go on. I just then. think he's had out ball over time. Yes, I, I love you know what Man I think. Like, he's well, a modern day Christian Atsu. <laughs> <laughs> Not a day. <laughs> Christian Atsu. I remember we got him and I had a look at the, the little YouTube thing when he was in Holland. I was thinking, he's going to be bossing. Wow. What was. And the, the thing when I started to realise that he wasn't boss was when he wore a hat, a jacket, <laughs> the pants, and his shoes were all the same colour. He was a uh, Ballon d'Or nominee on the shortlist. He was, yeah. After Definitely on the Cup shortlist. African Cup of Nations player. Made me look like a, a giant. Player of the tournament, African Cup of Nations. He's got some crackers in yeah, there, yeah, but that's yeah. played about one mile an hour. We bring him back. Coney's and me. Give him another go. 
Chelsea. He's flying at Bournemouth, isn't he? He's left Bournemouth, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's gone back to Chelsea. Chelsea. No, he's left. I think he's going somewhere back to Holland. I don't know. Who cares? Why are we talking about Kissing at Because you brought it up. I know, but I'm just a joke. I didn't use to get in depth. In depth on, on his. Maybe we'll do a video about how good Christian Atsu was. Yeah. Worst ever loan signings ever. Remember in that Leicester game, the 2 2, and he, he was he was doing alright yeah, and he was flying yeah. and then got injured, he went in for that 50 yeah. 50 and bounced and they scored the goal from remember it. In, yeah, remember yeah. him in um, Kiev? Amazing scenes. Him and Alcaraz that night. Um, <laughs> amazing. Banderas, Antonio Banderas. That's another scene I try already loading that. Hey, scored. Hey, scored within two minutes of his debut. Can't blame a lad. You can't you know. blame a lad for being injured. You can't do that. You can't blame a lad for being got injured. Got injured in the warm up with Chelsea. Yeah, he did. But was... not as spectacularly as, as uh, uh, Richard, Richard Wright. Richard Wright falling over there. Don't tra- go on the grass yeah. sign. Don't train in this bit. And he jumped and <laughs> fell on a sign. Right. So this is a game we've got to win. It's as simple as that. We win this, and I think we can start it in a bit of momentum. The only fear I've got, we sat here mm. after the defeat at Arsenal. Yeah. No, we didn't. We sat here before the Bournemouth game. We went and we said we're going into a nice run of fixtures now. Where if we get this right, we can. Do. And we've we've won one game since then. So <laughs> to be fair, though, we didn't sit scary. here. We didn't sit here going, "We're going to win all these games." We sit no, here going, no, a favourable well, run. But the simple fact is, now we have got a favourable run in now. I think we've yeah. got a couple of toughies, but we've got a good run in now. And if we manage it right, and we we'll pick up a majority. Let's be points. honest. We've got Swansea and Newcastle at home. Who are both hovering around the bottom end of the table? That should be six points. Well, if you're a team be. that wants to have aspirations of finishing in the top eight, even yeah. which is can't believe Max is saying that, but if that's where your team should be, and Everton, let's be honest, should be in that. These this needs to be six points. The next two home games need to be wins. You look at them well as well, and you say these are the perfect team for us to play because they will give you space. They do open the game up. They are expansive in the mm. in the playing style. Unless this this new fella comes in and, and you know. I don't, think they've, got it. I don't think they've got it in them. them yeah. I don't think they've Might got it in them, yet, and he's yeah. not certainly going to, not going to put it in them in a week. No, but you know, if they're going to come out and play expansive football, that should play right into our hands. But like you mentioned there, we have we have we have struggled against them a little bit. Haven't we? The last few last few times we played them, we've not really cut them out. We've not really created many the chances one down in the last there, few games. I was fuming we missed Chan because yeah. we battered them down there this season. And were, no. That was when they were that was when they were playing. Well. So you know, and then, you know, we did this. They should be like a, a warning to us in a way because you look at them, they've got a lot of good attacking players like Sigurdsson, are you? You know, the winger Montero, he's, he's, a, he's a player who's, you know, can excite Too much, but, too soon, Matt. But they've not, That's they've, what it's all about. They've not, but they've not got that. They've got a striker. Bo- they've not got Bonnie went. But the, the soft, the soft, aren't they? Like us, they can see sloppy goals. And you, you think, you know, if, if, if our attacking players suddenly does grind to a halt and we've got not much else. I mean, then the four goals they let in against Sunderland last week. Awful. Yeah. Most of them were offside, though, to be well, fair. Well, to be fair. We know all about that, don't we? <laughs> right? It's the same lines, man. As we're saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but did the, the ref go round telling all the players how long was left and how much he was having on for celebrations? He's a joke, him, by the way. He's a proper joke. He, he, gets, he gets bullied by every team bar Everton because we, don't, Cause we, go, don't, we don't approach anyone. Do Why would all players go mad? At, I forgot about that. Why would they all go mad at the lines? Because we don't. 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 Because we we want the moral victory. Yeah. Who's the real winner on Saturday? Exactly. It was exactly. We played the game. In the we fact, play, we play a third. In fact, in fact, Roberto Martinez actually said we won that game. So oh yeah, he did. Yeah, he actually said we won. Did he? Yeah. He said well, we were three two up in the time that was a lot had been given, and they scored an offside goal, so we actually won the game. But forget about that. Let's we won. Win. So we like, won. Yeah, like, we won that game. We actually like, won on Saturday. Chris, we won. give us another thumbnail, mate, because you we put won. three three. Yeah, it was actually Apparently, three two. Apparently, according to Martinez, we won. It was actually so, three two. It's like, but let's forget about that. It's like Mourinho when you you say about that Liverpool game, how it was what, it was nil nil that match. The goal score, the goal score was nil nil. It was nil nil. Goal score, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you think in the comments below. Did we beat Chelsea? Did we actually win? Apparently, we won. We, 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 yeah. Can we go to the tribunal and get the points? Tell us in the comments. Tell us what you think about this game. Should, who should we play? Will we just steamroll over Chelsea or will uh, Swansea or will we get uh, egg, on, egg, on our, egg on our face once Is again? Is Matthew Pennington good enough or not? Does Matt need a haircut and should we go together and get haircuts together? Yeah, because this, see this. Oh, don't I'm you sorry. touch my hair! Hey, what's that all about, by the way? 
Don't put me in that bracket. What do you mean? Oh, you put you me in the head. Be it right. Anyway, be it. Be it a cool. Be, be it off of you. <laughs> right uh, on yeah, Twitter it's cool. well, at Toffee conscious now at Toffee TV well, <laughs> on Facebook it's facebook.com forward slash Toffee TV ESC all those things in the comments see you soon in a bit Stacey you're it.